Hi everyone and welcome to this new fun video. In this video I will be doing the dollar store crochet challenge plus I want to make the kind of viral six day star blanket at the same time so I'm gonna combine two trends in one video. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be trendy anymore when I'm gonna put out this video because I'm actually working on a lot of different videos. So there is a little bit of a delay for publishing this video. So I hope you guys are still interested in this. So to be clear, we don't really have dollar stores here or at least where I live, but we do have a few stores that are quite cheap. First of all, I went to Action, which is at least in Belgium, known as a very, very cheap store. And the quality also isn't always that good, obviously. So I bought a lot of yarn there because I actually wanted to make my blanket in three different colors, especially. So purple, green and yellow, because those are kind of the colors that I want to use in my studio space. Um, and I want to use the star blankets in my studio space eventually. And they actually had a lot of greens and muted purples. So I'm going to show you what I bought. This looks so messy, but I bought two of these multicolored skeins of yarn. Uh, I bought two because I'll probably need to double thread or even triple thread the yarn. And I thought these colors were so cute. It's kind of like purple also with green and like a yellowish color so that's ideally like the colors that I wanted so I was so lucky and um, all of this yarn was in between one and three euros per skein this was probably a little bit more expensive for all the yarn that I purchased today it costed me about 21 euros um, this probably costed almost three euros per skein but I thought it was so pretty then I also bought two of these skeins because I also need to double or triple thread it. It's speckle yarn and again it's green and yellow which is ideal for my project so I definitely bought it. I have one of this shiny green skein of yarn. So yeah this is very pretty. It's not like the kind of green that I really like though. I much more prefer like an olive mossy green but this was very nice and it was only I think like two or two and a half euros and then i bought these two skeins of large acrylic yarn and this is actually what i'm gonna base my size on for the blankets it's very thick and i think this was about one euro each so that was very very nice but it's kind of basic i've also seen some star blanket videos and usually they take about 20 to 25 hours to make but i have like very thick yarn that I'm gonna use so I hope it's gonna be a little bit faster also I crochet kind of slow so I really hope I can do the whole blanket in maybe one week or a week and a half so we'll see if I can do that I also went to Boekenvogdeel which is in English I guess like book discount or book advantage if you translate it very literally and they had a few skeins of yarn but mostly like small cotton yarn and I was specifically looking for yellow yarn but and they had yellow yarn but it was like very thin and cotton and it was almost three euros per skein so I was thinking that's actually not very cheap so I decided to not buy the yellow yarn and then I went to Zeeman which is also like a well-known store here in Belgium um, and I bought this yarn which, which also is very thick and this all only costed it's not on the skin but I think it was wasn't that much more expensive than one euro so that's very nice and I love this color I love this color a lot more than the other greens but I am a little bit scared that it will clash with the other greens but I just hope it will look nice and then I also bought this one. It didn't have a label on it, but this costed almost three euros and it's a very nice yarn. I wanted like more purple yarn because I did have purple yarns, but they were very muted. So I also bought this one. Yeah, I'm just kind of sad that I didn't find any yellow yarn because I really want to integrate the color ye yellow in my studio space, but I'll do a lot more interior design videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe because I'm gonna do a lot of upcoming interior design videos for my studio space. So let's get started. I'm gonna look up the pattern. I haven't looked it up yet. 
um, because I'm very busy at the moment, but then we can start the challenge and I'll keep you updated, of course. I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everyone, so today I actually want to start with the star blanket. I looked up the tutorial online, you can just find it for free, written and in video form. But I have a little bit of a problem. Um, I have all this yarn here, but I don't think I have the right size of hook, the right hook size. I need like three different hook sizes because I need to go up a half a millimeter and then one millimeter throughout the blanket. So I think I'll need to buy an eight, an eight and a half and a nine millimeter hook if I can find one because I think now I'll have to go to the city to hopefully find one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but for example, I think this is the thickest yarn that I want to use. It needs a 9 to 10 millimeter hook. Maybe I'm first gonna roll up some of the yarn into different skeins so that, I, that, so that at least that's ready. I don't have a yarn winder by the way, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, I have been away for about two and a half hours, but I was able to buy 8mm, 9mm and 10mm. I actually should have half sizes, but they didn't have them for such big hooks. And also I'm pretty sure I already have an 8mm hook at home, but I forgot to check. And now I definitely don't want to check because I don't want to be disappointed that I paid so much for these hooks. These cost me 17 euros. Also, I feel like lately I have been really inspired by the Whimsy God aesthetic. I know I'm not really fitting that vibe, but I really want to get more into it, especially when the weather gets colder. I feel like it's a nice style that fits the weather. And I feel like this blanket also will be a little bit of Whimsy God because I feel like the colors really fit with that vibe. I'm currently working with four strands at the same time so I feel like that's gonna slow me down a lot. Although the, the yarn is thicker so at the same time it should be a little bit faster. First update on the blanket. I just switched to my bigger hook size and I love these colors so much. It's kind of mossy, nature witchy vibe. <laughs> when I was working on this row, I think my yarn was very thick and I already started to have some pain in my hands. <laughs> so far, the yarn feels like any other yarn and I really love the colors and like the textures and the I don't know I love it so much so so far very nice for a dollar store I love it I'll probably have to shop cheaper yarn more often well maybe not for wearables because that might be itchy but I mean this yarn doesn't feel that itchy it's not really soft but it's not itchy I added the sparkly yarn into the other yarn. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually very pretty. And it's very subtle, but I like it a lot. This is what I have after about three hours. Quite a lot, actually. Quite happy. I also love the colors. Maybe this color is a little bit too bright compared to the other colors because it was very fall themed and then this green is a little bit brighter. This is so nice. It's also chill to just follow a pattern for once. I'm still watching the YouTube tutorials. I'll also link them in the description. But yeah, very nice experience, very chill. You don't have to think too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like it being so close to me. It is day two, I think, of working on this. I'm gonna show you what I have. I have crocheted almost three hours today, which is not a lot, but I did quite a lot of... I started the day with making a TikTok 
that took me three hours to make. I'll show it on screen. And then I took a nap and then I took a walk and bought some ice cream. And then I needed to clean the whole house because I was postponing that a lot. And then it was evening and yeah, I crocheted and now we are here. So this is what we have. Wait, it's the wrong side, the wrong side. Okay, this is the good side, <laughs> no loose ends here. I only feel like the two, oh no, Mona is playing with my arm. I don't feel like all the colors match that well because it started very fall-like and then it became more summer-like, which I don't like as much. But it still looks quite cute, but I have realized that I don't have enough yarn to make a full blanket and the yarn that I bought already costed 20 euros so I was thinking maybe I can just try to do a few more rows if I have enough yarn for that and then I can make it into like a little table runner thingy um, and then next week I will go to another kind of dollar store then I can buy some more yarn and then I can see how many pumpkins I can make out of that yarn that I am gonna buy. Because I don't want to make it this video too short, obviously. And I also asked in a previous video if you guys prefer longer or shorter videos. And I feel like people didn't care that much. But also a lot of people commented that they prefer longer videos because they crochet while watching videos. And that's exactly what I do as well. And I have been kind of comparing so much to other creators who do like very aesthetic videos with a lot of b-roll of them working on a project and then mainly voiceovers of them explaining the project and it's like very scripted. And for this whole time I have been thinking that's also what I need to do to, to be successful. Uh, if you know what I mean. I have been comparing myself a lot just because I really want to grow my channel. And I don't really know if that's really my vibe though. Maybe eventually when I have my studio space and I have a better setup to film I can do more of those more upbeat videos. But I feel like a lot of people also like me talking because... I do talk a lot, that's just how I... Now she's here. Baby, don't bite on my yarn. Please don't eat my yarn. I'm requesting you to not eat my yarn. Okay, are you gonna be a good baby? <laughs> it's daylight now and this is what it looks like on the table, but I might frog this last row because I think the light green doesn't fit that well so I might take out a whole row and then continue with this purple. So we'll see how much I can get done today but first I need to do a lot of laundry, uh, folding a lot of laundry and I might also first set up a newsletter um, I have talked about this in my previous video as well and on the community tab a lot. I'm gonna start a newsletter and today I want to set up all the basic stuff and then share the link where people can subscribe because I think my first newsletter will be in October. I won yarn chicken. I only had this much left for the purple but I'm pretty sure uh, from this point on, I'll have to use multiple colors in the middle of a row. I guess I'll see how that goes. <laughs> Update for day four. I have been crocheting for four hours today, so that's more than the other days. And it looks kind of sad. <laughs> this is the only thing I added to it. Okay guys, this is my sewing machine by the way, that I have to take to sewing class in two days. I'm gonna get ready to go to the city to buy some extra yarn for the pumpkins. 
by the way i still didn't need to cut off a row in the middle and i i have been left with this which is ideal i have one chicken yarn chicken yarn ah i have one yarn chicken each time um so yeah now i'm gonna go to the store i think i'm gonna go to zeman again Oh, no free food content for you guys i'm sorry and i'm gonna see what i can buy i do think they have a lot of fall themed colors though which is very nice by the way in a few weeks probably i'll totally change up my hair color it will be completely bleached and then have a color over it actually two colors but i'm gonna try to be a little bit secretive and I'm very scared I'll lose my curls. I'm not super curly, but I do have a few curls. And I'm so nervous that completely bleaching my hair will destroy all my curls. So I guess we'll see how that goes. But I think I'll also make a video about that because I think it will be kind of an art trait. But I still have to talk about it with that friend that was gonna bleach my hair. Um, but she might be watching this video because she watches a lot of my videos. So of course I'm gonna be there when it's almost closed. I have like 10 minutes. Of course I'm later than expected. Okay, my blanket is finished. Today I worked it for, on it for almost five hours and in total I have only worked on it for nine hours, which is not a lot of, of time for me because usually when I crochet, crochet clothing, it takes about 40 to 50 hours to make an item for me. Okay, I messed up my timing. It was 16 hours and not nine hours. And I don't know if I've said five days, but it took me four days. So I crocheted about three to five hours each day. And yeah, it took me 16 hours, but something with the timing went wrong. So this is very nice. It was very refreshing to just follow a pattern. I'm, I'm gonna link the pattern video that I followed in the description because I thought it was very clear. And after a while, I started to remember the pattern, so I just could do it without watching the video. I'm gonna show you the result. I want to do like a nice, some nice unfolding action, although I have no idea how people do that on in their TikToks. Is it like this? And then you do this. Whoa, it's actually so much bigger than I thought. And I can see right through it. I can still see the viewfinder. It is quite big, you guys. Um, I did at the end, right here, I needed to change the colors in this row, kind of towards the end. And then also at my very last row, I needed to <laughs> switch yarns, which really bugs me. But I'm just gonna take this side of the blanket and just hide it a little bit. Today I went to work and I also just made dinner, so it's actually already over 8 p.m. I think. But I wanted to talk about some stuff. First of all, I'm having sewing lessons now and our first assignment will be to make a, kind of like a tote bag or just a bag to put all our stuff in for sewing, our sewing supplies. And I was thinking to use the fabric I designed myself and it's also a little bit fitting with this video since it's like autumnal colors. I also 
stopped my Duolingo after 800 days, like a streak. <laughs> And I just, it was so annoying, I didn't enjoy it at all. It was kind of like something that I needed to do at the end of the day while I wanted to relax, so I decided to just stop. And then we also cancelled our gym, gym membership. Whoa. Because we I, I don't, I'm, I just don't have any free time anymore. And if I have free time, I'm crocheting for a video. So... I don't know, we just didn't have any more time to go to the gym either and I don't know, I feel like I'm in my quitting everything era because I need to set priorities and I've been working so much for my YouTube channel lately and then also going to work two days a week and yeah, everything is a little bit overwhelming but I feel like everything that's happening is also very good and positive but this evening I really have to start on the pumpkins because the week is almost over and I wanted to really include this in this week's video, like next week's video. So I have to make the pumpkins this week, but I don't have that much time left. I'm going to use this very pretty speckled yarn that costed 5 euros, which is like a lot, although maybe in another store it would be way more expensive if it was another brand. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making pumpkins. I looked up a tutorial on YouTube and I think I'll just follow the tutorial So I'll link it in the description as well in case you're interested So let's start making some pumpkins or one big pumpkin. I think I'll just make one big pumpkin So far the tutorial is to just make one big rectangle of fabric So I'm gonna do that. It's kind of relaxing though to just make one rectangle just super easy crocheting mindlessly which i love doing i did the plushie and the star blanket in this video the star blanket and you really kind of had to focus on what you were doing but i really prefer just doing something like this <laughs> i bought this folder on amazon for my sewing course but why does it need to have this title and also <laughs> on the back there's a quote like I wanted a pretty but simple folder but I think it's still very cute it's the prettiest one I could find on Amazon was that yummy baby was that the yummy oh no, that's not very yummy. Okay, outfit check. I'm wearing this super cute top I thrifted in the secondhand store. Secondhand store? Is that the correct term? The thrift store? <laughs> and then I'm wearing a very long skirt, you can't see it, that I got from my colleague. So I feel very cute because this evening my boyfriend Evict will have his first public um, concert show. He's the lead singer, so that will be fun. And of course, I'm taking my little pumpkin piece with me to crochet a bit there. <laughs> I love it so much. Here you can see the texture better. I love it. And also you can barely see the crochet stitch. And I think it's because of the yarn. And I think it looks so cool and nice and amazing so let's take this to the show and i'll show a few clips of course <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so are you ready for the reveal? This is the pumpkin, but it's very lumpy. I think I needed to fill it up even more with the polyfill. But it already seemed so much filling, but I kind of regret it now because I'm too lazy to take it all apart. And this is what it looks like. It's still quite cute. I will use it as decoration probably in our living room um, for fall. I need so much more fall decoration because I feel like everything in our interior is so colorful and spring and summer themed. <laughs> but this will be nice to add a little bit of a fall touch to it. And then this is the blanket that I will probably... I think I will put it over my desk chair when I have my desk. It's actually quite big. So I really hope you enjoyed this dollar store challenge about the yarn I used. It was actually quite nice. I didn't really have any difficult difficulties with it or anything compared to other yarn I sometimes use. I mostly use the brand Drops when I buy yarn and it's also kind of cheaper yarn but I have used yarn from them that I really like but it like splits or it's a little bit annoying to work with but for this yarn I used I actually had no difficulties. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other videos as well. And also I'll, I'm going to start a newsletter. So if you're interested in free patterns and free resources, check the link in the description and subscribe to my newsletter. And I'll see you in next week's video. Have a good day or night. Bye bye.